Hello and welcome back. In this section I will show you how you can transfer your code from Excel VBA to for example VB.net or C Sharp. I will use in this first lesson a VB.net because it is practically similar as the VBA code. And now if you want to create your standalone applications that are not bound to Excel, to Office, you can do it with VB.net or you can create your forms in Excel VBA and then simply transfer it to VB.net or C Sharp. If you don't have Visual Studio on your machine, you can download a totally free Visual Studio Community Edition. To do so, you simply go to Google and type Visual Studio Community. And it will bring you to the free IDA, Visual Studio Community. You can download and install it on your computer, on your machine. When you're done, you can simply go and start your Visual Studio 2017. Let's run it. And now that we are in the Visual Studio, you can simply go to File, New Project, And in this new project window, you can simply go to installed, go to the Visual Basic, and we will use a Windows Classic Desktop. And here we can select Windows Forms app. We will name it VBA to VB.net. VBA to VB.net. You can click on OK. And the project with one simple form has opened. We will save our project. Go to Save All. We will name it VBA to VB.net. The location I will choose my desktop. I will create new folder. VBA to VB.net. OK, select folder and click Save. Now, first thing, if you remember when we have created, when we have first opened our uh, Excel development, we needed to add a reference to a virtual forms object control. To do so, here in VB.net or in Visual Studio uh, 2017, you simply go to the References, right-click on the mouse, and to the Add References. And if you have installed on your machine Virtual Forms Framework, when you type in Search Virtual it should pop up. We will select this Virtual Form 2.0. Tick on this checkbox and click OK. Now let's add a button to our form. And on the right here, we will change the text to to Virtual Form Designer. If we'll double click, it will open a code editor and it will place us to the subroutine or to the event button one click. And to see how similar this is to VBA, I will open our project that we have created in the VBA or in Excel VBA. Go to Developer, go to Visual Basic, Main Menu. I will simply copy this line of code 
public weird events, we have one as virtual form 2.virtual form. Copy. And place it here after the public class form 1. And this will give us, if you remember, this with events, if I delete it, we will not have any events from virtual form control. But if we again put it here, we will have the events that virtual form control fires that we also have in our VBA. So now you can see this line of code is similar to one that we have in our VBA code. Let's go and see what is the next. Next, we need to set, we need to initialize our uh, virtual form control in some kind of user form initialization event. I will copy this, but because if we go here and if we select form events and take a look at the form events here in Visual Studio 2017 or in Visual Basic.net, we don't have a user form initialization event. We have, for example, a load event. And we can put this code in the load event. This load event will fire only once when the form is loading. And as you can see, the Visual Basic Editor or the Visual Studio is saying to us that the let and set assignment statements are no longer supported. So we will remove this. Now let's go to the next line. Next line, we need to tell the virtual form control or our instance of virtual form control, what database type we want to use. I will also copy this comment. Copy and paste it. Let's have some space and paste it here. Next line. We will also copy this from our VBA. Copy. And in this line, we're telling our application where our uh, virtual form definition file is located, because this workbook is specific only to Excel. We cannot use this here. So for now, I will put in the full path to our definition file. To do so, I will go to our project folder, right click on our definition file properties and I will copy this location. Right click, copy. Okay. Okay. And I will place it. I will remove this and I will place it here before this backslash. Now we have the full path to our definition file we have created a new instance of our uh, virtual form control called VF1. Then we have tell the virtual form control or our instance of virtual form control that we will use a database type that is number two, that we will use number two is MySQL. Then we have told our instance of virtual uh, form control that the virtual form definition file is locate, located here. The next line of code we will copy from our VBA is the connection string. I will copy all of this. Select it, Control C, and I will paste it here. Before we leave the application, before we close the application, we also need to make a cleanup. To do so, I will go and take a peek here in our VBA code. So in the subroutine user for terminate, we have those two lines of code. I will copy them both. Right click, copy. And because in uh, VBA.net, we don't have uh, this 
event user form terminate but if you go if you go to the form to the form one events and take a look we have an event called closing this is before the form closes down we still have the time to cancel the closing we will put here our cleaning code paste so before the form closes down we will close all virtual forms we will tell our instance of virtual form control to close all virtual forms and also to disconnect the database and now that we have cleaned up in this subroutine or in this event we also need to add a uh, action to our button one click our button one click if you click here on the design our button one click is a virtual form designer open a virtual form designer so here in this subroutine or in this event we will simply copy the event that we have used in our vba code that opens our virtual form designer you simply go here and copy this line select it copy and let's paste it here and our application should be ready to open a virtual form designer let's go and test it first we will save it and click on the start the form has loaded and if we click on virtual form designer Our virtual form designer has opened and also our application has passed the properties to the virtual form control that has passed this property to the virtual form designer where our uh, definition virtual form definition file is located what database type we want to use and the connection string okay now we know this works but let's go and add a new button that will open our virtual form go to the design click on the button in the toolbox and let's draw a new button let's go and have a look in our application in our VBA to the main menu the second button is product categories okay we will call it product categories go click on the button and go to the text property of this button and change it to product categories okay and let's go and take a look what code is executed when we press uh, this button in our VBA this line of code okay it will open a vf2 form let's copy it right mouse click copy and double click on these product categories here in the vb.net and paste this code here let's save it and let's start it now that we have our form if we click on product categories it started our virtual form and we can add a new category and this form is connected to our shared hosting database on the internet on the server located in europe uh, in amsterdam if i can remember good okay let's add a new category category 2 let's call it category 2 shared okay and the form works also here we can also go and add one more button click on button 
drop the button and we will name it just like it is in our VBA products. Okay, go back here, click on the button and in the text property, change it to products. We also need to add an action what will the application do when we click on this product button we will go to our vba code once again double click on the products button and copy the code that we have here copy and paste it here now let's save it and let's give it a try. Here's our form. Virtual Form Designer we have already tested. Product categories. Okay, let's see it once again. This works. And products. Here are our products. Now you can see it. This is almost identical as the VBA code. So when you are using virtual forms with a MySQL database, you can create it in Excel VBA and then you can transfer it to VB.net. This code is almost identical. There will be, when we go and do some more complicated things, it will maybe change a little between VBA and VB.net, but not a, a lot. So you can see, you can use Excel VBA, you can use also VB.net, and also you can, because if you can use it from VB.net, you can also use it from C Sharp. With that in mind, I will leave you, we will see us in the next lesson.